This past year was really rough. I had to basically take care of my little brother and I had to take a semester off of school. So pretty, <laughs> my god. Thank you guys. Oh, so it's my maintenance. Laugh <laughs> even if we're not funny, so that we feel funny. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Waze Channel. I am so excited. I have the one and only Charlotte Tilbury oh, in our presence. Thank you. you guys know Charlotte. She basically has the most amazing makeup brand. I use it all the time. It's the only things my sisters and my mom ask for. Love you. So Charlotte, as you guys know, obviously she works with like Amal Clooney, Jennifer Aniston. She's worked with Kendall and with Kim. She's just like the most incredible makeup <laughs> goddess guru ever. Love this lady. <laughs> so Charlotte is so kind to come and do this fun makeover. Oh. And we literally just like a week ago decided to do a contest. And this is our lovely winner, Isabella. Gorgeous, Hi. Isabella. Oh, she can't <laughs> wait to get our hands on you. <laughs> Isabella, I want to know what you thought when you first saw that we were doing this and that you won. I, like, honestly was just, like, in shock. I was so in shock because I messaged and I was like, oh, did you guys, like, pick the winner yet? I was just wanting to know. I'm, like, really anxious. And they told me you won. And I was like, what? What is this? Did you think it was a joke? <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. How did you find out on the... the on we... Waze page. On Waze page. Yeah. Oh my god, it's yeah. so fun. Oh I'm god. so happy we're doing this. So great. So okay, so obviously you guys can watch Charlotte's channel because she's going to do a whole breakdown and do her gorgeous, amazing pillow talk look. I'm going to do something that I feel like, I want to take you outside of like your comfort zone yeah. a little bit and do something maybe a little like glossy but with some volume. Mm. I'm really inspired by Charlotte's hair. Oh, darling, well, thank you. I love your products. Charlotte has... products in there. No, she has the best, like, effortless waves, right. and you just look like Brigitte Bardot. I'm, like, I'm always desperately trying to look like Brigitte Bardot. It's never going to happen, but somehow the hair kind of inspiration... You have is, the best is, hair always. Well, I'm going to do, like, a nice blowout, and I'll show you how to get some really pretty Tilbury waves. I'm going to use our wave spray, our volume spray, show you kind of the direction that you should blow dry your curls when you want to have nice volume. And then I'm going to show you how to put in extensions. Have you ever used them? No, never. Okay, we're going to have yeah. some fun. I'm excited. So that right. will give it, so you spray that in and that gives it what, the kind of... So I basically am just prepping the roots and I'm using the volume spray so that when I blow out her hair, it's it going to really have that nice yeah. volume. Yeah, like so this it. is a little trick. I'm actually using our wave spray and it, it has no alcohol in it, so it's not going to dry your hair. Oh, that's nice. But I like to do this for everybody when I blow their hair out. I don't do it just for beachy waves. Right. I like to prep the hair with this so that when I blow it out, it's nice and full. It just keeps that fullness. <laughs> So this is the Dyson Airwrap, and basically it blow dries your hair and styles at the same time. And then let exactly. me show you this. So this is the curling one. Okay, that, that, that's the one that my friend had. She was, she was literally like, I come out of the shower and I just pop that on and I go. So it, it has just... an arrow, so it shows you the direction that the air is moving, right. and you don't have to ever worry about it like sucking your hair up because it's blowing air out. It's right. not sucking it's it in. in. So like, I'll show okay, you. You'll die really... for this, Charlotte. So you can take it and you can use it like you would a curling iron. Yeah. Hold it this way, wrap the hair around it, and it's just air. This right. isn't like ceramic metal heat or anything. Hold you it for about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Do a blast of cool air. Let it cool go. Cool air, not hot air. Yeah, and then you can see, like, look how pretty that right. is. You can go like this, and it basically will grab the, air, yeah, the hair. Yeah, that's the one my friend said. She said you just yeah. it grabs the hair. So, so it just... will act like a curling iron, essentially. Round. And you hold it for like 10 seconds, and that'll give you a really nice wow. like curl that you can brush through. It's so amazing. How amazing. So I'm gonna continue. I just did a really nice blowout. We did, again, volume spray at the root, some wave spray throughout. I'm gonna put gorgeous. some extensions in. Such you have gorgeous hair. hair. Amazing yeah. hair. All right, so Isabella, tell me about your story because I know we had a contest. We asked everyone to kind of share what their like, what, they're, what they were going through, why they felt like they really wanted to have, you know, kind of a makeover. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your story. So, um, this past year was really rough. I had to basically take care of my little brother for almost a good majority of the year. Right. Um, my mom had to go to Hawaii because my uncle, who's a quad, was in the hospital. Um, and then who was, a, who was a quadriplegic. Oh. Yeah, so he was in the hospital, um, and then eventually he passed. It was like five months plus. And then mm. she had to stay there a little bit longer because she had to like wrap up like loose ends and stuff like that. So I had taken care of my brother basically for a good majority of the year, and he was 
going through like finishing eighth grade, going into high school. So that was a crazy kind of transition period for him too. And I kind of just yeah. like got kind of lost and I had to take a semester off of school. Because you school. had to take care of My him? My little brother, yeah. Because it, you felt that you had to just... It just like I didn't have enough time to focus on like school on and my school little brother. And being, yeah. a, and being a parent. I mean, Basically. ultimately you were proxy kind of parent yeah. and you became a mother at yeah. 20. <laughs> Basically, wow. of a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fast. So it was really tough and I kind of just kind of felt lost and just like, because I took a semester off school, now I kind of have to figure out like my path again and I just feel a bit confused and trying to figure out what exactly I want to do and just being confident within myself for sure has just been kind of rough, but. Has it been, has it been rough, what, finding your confidence? Yeah, it just, I feel like also just like in being in college the past few years, it's just been, I've just kind of given up a little bit on just like appearance wise and stuff. So I'm just like, okay, I just need to go to school. I need to get all this stuff done. So I'm like, not taking baggy. care of yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm just being really like baggy clothes, just because it's easy to throw on. Not really doing anything with my hair. Don't really do anything with my makeup. So we're but, gonna but, change that, Isabella. Yeah, we are not <laughs> allowing that. No. <laughs> also, Charlotte and I know firsthand like the magic of what we do oh, and yeah. how like. We might have a client that comes in and is having like the worst day or just not feeling yeah. it, doesn't want to be on camera, doesn't want to do yeah. whatever they have to do. And the minute that they have glam on, they change into every time really? I see it. Oh, and it's they amazing. Into it a is, different person. Honestly, the psychology of hair and makeup is just so huge. The amount of times, because you know, celebrities don't, or models don't come from a different planet. They're you know, the same, wake up with a yeah. spot and kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. And you, you that, that moment where they kind of look in the mirror and they're like, oh, there she is. And their mm -hmm. whole energetically, their whole frequency and their whole kind of, uh, their whole posture, their whole, everything just changes. I owe my life to makeup. I mean, darling, yeah. I would not have the life I have today without makeup, for sure. What you were saying to me earlier about, you know, I never think there's anything really negative in, I mean, yes, yeah. there are negatives and sometimes, but you, I always think try and find, even when there is something yeah. awful that happens to you, try and find the positive in it because yeah. somehow there'll be a great thing that comes out of it. But a lot of us can give up. Yeah. You know, like give up and just feel like, oh, I just, you know, I remember at the age of 19, um, I remember I was sort of probably, um, you know, kind of moved to London. It was a recession um, and there wasn't, it was really hard to get a job uh, as a makeup. I'd done my makeup course. And how old and were you at the time? You so said? I was 19, 19. So I'd just done my makeup course and then I'd moved to London. And I remember thinking, Oh, you know, I really want to get it. I want, want to get started, but it was a recession, so it was really mm. difficult to get a makeup job. Everyone was like, they're dropping their rates. There's not hardly any jobs, and so I was like, okay. So then I just started partying, and probably hanging out with the wrong crowd and all the rest of it. But then, you know, you you realise like I just I remember this note that this makeup artist, that actually this beauty journalist gave me, and I would look at it and it would say, knock it to them, Charlotte. I know you'll be a star. Awesome. And and I and I remember like when I was feeling really down and I'd be like, oh, when am I going to get a job? How is this going to happen? When am I going to have my breakthrough moment? I remember looking at this and just reading that note going, yes, I, I'm going to pick up that phone. I'm going to make it happen. I will be a star. I'm wow. going to do this. And, you know, even though sometimes there were people who were like, no, we can't see you. And eventually through sheer determination, you know, eventually you get a break from I that. I always say there's something really magical because like, I have a similar story. I came to LA when I was 19. Yeah. And I always say like, at that age, you have no fear. Like you shouldn't have fear. Yeah. Like, y you know, I feel like I came here really? with no- Did you no... have no fear? I had, I know because you have nothing to lose. I was like, right. I'm either going to make it or I'm going to go back to St. George, Utah and get married to my high school boyfriend and have kids. So I was like, <laughs> so I have nothing, like, to okay, nothing to lose. nothing to lose. Okay, Charlotte, I'm going to switch sides with you okay, so I can finish it. this side. Do it. And then Isabella, I want to know a little bit about like what what is your like routine with your hair? You said you haven't really been doing it that much. Yeah, I kind of just like wash it and then let it air dry, and that's pretty much it. And you have a bit of frizziness, you said. Yeah, I definitely deal with frizziness. I have a hard time managing that. Okay. For sure. So um, you need the hair wrap. <laughs> I know you need the Two air seconds, wrap. Exactly. Yeah. I would say you need to. I'm going to give you some of the air dry foam that you can try because cool. it's really great because it helps to fight frizz and like keeps your curls really uniformed. I love your curls. I think they're really pretty. I do too. It's just like hard to make sure they like look good all the time. Yeah. yeah. I think it's all about product. It comes down to what you're using in the shower as well. Yeah. So wait, you haven't really been doing your hair or your makeup. I haven't really been doing much of anything. Um, when I like go out, like when I want to go out and stuff, I'll like try to do like my hair and like try to get dressed and stuff. And I just like kind of don't like how I look when I do all that stuff. And I just Why? don't really want to go out. I just, I just look kind of like. You're so gorgeous. Basic. I don't know. 
such a great so way to crazy. say it. So crazy. You're so yeah. beautiful. That kills Amazing. me to even say that because you are so beautiful. Well, you don't like the way you look. Why? It's just more like my, my friends are really good at dressing and stuff and they'll like, you know, do their hair and like, it's kind of like really natural makeup and stuff. And I just like don't want to deal with doing like makeup and stuff like that. Why? I don't know. I just like been feeling very... You just, just feel not like, caring about my appearance. That can much. I tell you something? I felt the same way when I was like my last year of high school yeah. before I moved to LA, because all of my girlfriends were always like done up and really yeah. cute, and they could afford like really nice yeah, clothes. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. And I honest. kind of always felt like I wasn't as cute as they were. But let me tell you something. There's something about blossoming later on in life that's better. I'm telling you. They always say like Pete. winner in high school, loser in life. <laughs> you want to be the winner in life yeah. and like the loser in high school. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, your friends are going to be so jealous. You're getting a makeover from yeah. me and Charlotte. So what is it when you get up, when you go and put your hair and makeup, what is it that? Like I'll just like, I don't really do much of my hair because when I try to like blow dry it and stuff, I feel like I just, it just doesn't look right. It gets like really frizzy. I don't really know how to do that aspect of it. And then I'll just leave it with the natural curls done because I'll just let it air dry. And then I just don't love how it looks. I don't know why, it just like never comes out exactly right. I'm gonna show you. It's really, yeah. people yeah. get really discouraged when they have long hair, because it's yeah. like you have to have really long arms to be able to get the same angles that hairstylists do. But really, if you just split your hair from like the crown to the nape and bring it forward, mm -hmm. and like if you notice, keep your head straight there. If you notice, I'm just bringing your hair forward and holding the curling iron here to the side of your hair mm -hmm. and wrapping the hair around it. You can totally do that. I think people tend to think that they need to like, have their hands and their hair behind, you can bring everything forward and get the same look. It'll be easier for you. Right. And I'm just wrapping your hair around a three quarter inch barrel. And you don't have to, like mine's like a professional Marcel, yeah. but you, if it feels like too scary to you, you can even keep your curling iron closed and just wrap your hair around a closed curling iron mm -hmm. just to get those really nice tight waves. Cause like, I like to curl the hair a little tighter because once you brush through it, it's gonna loosen up a bit and we're almost done. All right, Charlotte, we'll sides. swap back. Don't trip. I'll never yeah. forgive myself. All right, Isabel, so I'm gonna now go and spray some volumizing hairspray just to really lock the curls in place. And then I feel like your ends from the balayage that you did are a little bit dry, so I'm gonna use our new shine mist and kind of give it a little oh, bit of a nice great, gloss. The shine mist. What's our tagline? You can shine like glass from your head to your ass. It's for your hair and your body. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> we all need that. Who doesn't want that, right? Jen, I have a like, question for you. Yes. You kind of just created this like hair empire with your wayline and just like how notable you are on Instagram and stuff. Um, I was wondering like, how did you get from where you started to now? Oh my God, that's a two hour I special. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I really just like always loved doing hair. Yeah. And I think really when I moved to LA, I didn't know anybody. I had like honestly no money. Mm -hmm. And my best friend and I came out here and I just like started really going at the time, like looking through Allure magazine to see like what the cool salons yeah. were. And I got a job after like eight or nine months of looking, I got a job at a salon that was like the hot salon at the time as receptionist. So I was like oh, really? feeding like Bette Midler's meter and Stevie Nicks meter. Oh, and I was like, amazing. oh my God, this is the best thing that's ever gonna happen to me. Oh. And I just worked really hard and I studied under a lot of really great people. And I was kind of like the 40 year old assistant. I just never wanted to stop learning. So I was like going to Paris and doing shows in my late twenties. And you know, I just like wanted to do something beyond just being in the salon. And so I like never stopped working and hustling. And so when it came down to me really wanting to do way, I felt like I knew what was missing in the marketplace. I did not go to business school. I dropped out of college. My parents were so upset that I was gonna leave like our comfy little Mormon town in Utah <laughs> and go to LA. Um, but you know, like I said, I feel like I had nothing to lose and I just kind of went for it. And I think the one thing I can say is like I, looking back, I feel like there's this like crazy pressure that kids your age have to figure out like who you're gonna marry, yeah. who yeah, you're gonna be with, like what that. you're gonna be like. And that's a lot, you know, like you just came out of high school and I feel like, I don't know, I don't think you need to put so much pressure on yourself. I think you'll figure it out as you go. You know, you change so much. But yeah, that's kind of, I mean, I kind of took no, I didn't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. um, and I always just kind of like pushed my way through, you know, like if, if my agency didn't want me, I'd call like every week, no matter what. And they finally were like, fine, come in, let's take a meeting. She's worn us down. <laughs> it's yeah. a determination. Determination. And yeah. I think like when I had a business plan and I didn't know the first thing about raising money, like I went and asked every single person I knew that was in the business world, just any tips and advice. Yeah. And it was really helpful. And I still ask questions to this day. Like oh, it doesn't you, stop. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
I call Charlotte sometimes. <laughs> I'll email Charlotte and like, wait, this is happening. Like, you know, it's really, it's like, you have to definitely like yeah. lean in. You have to not be scared. You need to also just know that there's people that will help you. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask questions Yeah, and just go for it. Never be afraid to ask questions. That's the thing is people sometimes feel like, oh, I feel stupid asking this. I should know this. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. If I don't know stuff, there's a whole load of stuff I don't know. Yeah. And, and that's the thing is you don't have to pretend to be good at what no. you're not good at either. Like, I hired a business manager to handle my money because I was so bad with money. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> it's the best thing that. I ever did. Yeah. You know, I would have never had, like, the money to put into my business had I not done that. You know, oh, I have really? Good... Before you did that before you had the business? Yeah. <laughs> I'm using a little bit of the matte pomade just at the top to get, like, those little flyaways to go away. And I'm just going to kind of, my favorite thing with hair is to kind of just shake it out. And now with these extensions, you've got so know, much hair. I love it. And I'm just going to kind of shake out these curls because I want them to feel really nice and kind of natural. It looks so pretty, though. I love it. It's it divine. So nice. Gorgeous. I'm going to get some bang clips, and I'll put these away for you, Charlotte, so you can work your magic. I feel like, I honestly do feel like a little more confident right now, just like... My hair's already done, and it just makes me like look a little bit more put together. Oh, yay, that's the, the hair point. magic is working. Yeah. Well, we're only halfway done. You just got weighed, and now you're going to get tilbury <laughs> Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and head over to Charlotte's channel. Darlings, come over to my channel. I'm now, this is so gorgeous and divine what you have done. I am so can't wait to get my hands on Isabella's face. So come, come, come to my channel and I'm gonna show you how to get a little bit of quick and easy makeup magic, confidence boosting makeup magic. That's what we're gonna do, darling. Ooh la la.